I am the knight. Batman. I help wherever I'm needed. Superman. Hang on to me. Spider-Man. Notice anything in common? Huh? They're all white dudes. What? But the characters like Black Panther representing African Americans. Wakanda forever! Wonder Woman representing women. You're just another pathetic man. And soon, Ms. Marvel representing Muslim Americans. Diverse characters are a super powerful force in comic books. People deserve to see themselves as heroes. We sat down with acclaimed comic book creator Andre Owens, who tells us how diversity in comics is changing and why it's so important, starting with inclusion. Back when I was a kid, there weren't a lot of comics featuring black characters on the stands. You know, you see things like Black Panther, but I even, even as a kid, I wasn't aware that he was black because he wore a mask all the time. But when you see someone that you can identify as the hero that looks like you, you know, it's inspirational and it's aspirational. Like the character who inspired Andre, Tyrock from Superboy, starring the Legion of Superheroes. And it just jumped off the, the comic book rack to me because there was this guy that looked like me, and he was shaking his fist at Superboy and telling him he's not gonna join this group. For me, it was like, wow, here's a guy that looks like me that's standing up to Superboy. And characters like Professor X from X-Men go beyond racial inclusivity by giving a voice to people with disabilities. Which something, that see, I wouldn't see that, but it's because he's in a wheelchair, you know, they identify with that character. Having that representation really makes a lot of difference in people's lives. Next, diversity creates new genres. One of the trendiest, Afrofuturism. Some people like to call it black speculative fiction. It's a place where black creators get to explore the world uh, showing black characters surviving in the future. African characters like in my series, Force Galaxia. In the literary world, Afrofuturism is so hot because this unique subgenre makes for groundbreaking media. My son, it is your time. That stands out in a great way, and that's sorely needed. So often we, you know, you see these movies, you see shows, and you know, you may have one black character or you know something like that, and you're wondering, well, we're having everyone else. And this genre is we're allowed to tell those stories of what happens to everyone else. And the third reason comic books have a duty towards diversity, they feature stories that teach you about different walks of life. I think it creates more unique stories in the sense that um, you, they're coming from places where uh, you know the, the uh, cis white gendered male doesn't know about. North Star, a character from the X-Men, is one of the first openly gay superheroes in American comic books. Without any kind of you know stereotypes to him, he was accepted as who he was. And now me as a you know as a as a young straight boy in the 80s, you know, seeing that character, it allowed me to understand a lot about the community. How diverse comic book characters make everyone feel like a hero on the top of the list.